Meteorologist Sarah Gannon. Well, it absolutely was a beautiful day out there across the region. Plenty of sunshine. I hope you at home maybe were out to, able to get outside and enjoy it. And of course, those temperatures a little bit warmer than what they had were yesterday. We topped off today into those low 40s here in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa, just a couple degrees shy of average for this time of the year. So that official high at the Rochester International Airport, 41 degrees. Outside this evening, conditions are quiet, clear skies overhead as we check in with your Lewis Donato live camera there. That's downtown Rochester. Temperatures are quiet, are pleasant here this evening, mainly at 30 degrees there. Mason City, Winona, Austin, Rochester sitting at 32. Clear skies, as I said, and our winds rather calm at this hour. Many of us seeing those uh, light winds about uh, three to eight miles per hour out of the northeast. Looking ahead tonight, we stay pretty quiet here as we check in with your weather headlines. Clear skies continue and overall very quiet end to the evening. As we look forward here into the next couple of days, starting tomorrow, anticipating to see high temperatures bumping back to more seasonal values in the 40s and even 50s here uh, for southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Then we look forward to the weekend and we have a couple rain chances that we are keeping an eye on here for the area. One being late Friday night, the other opportunity being Sunday into Monday. And that'll be the opportunity that maybe looks to be a bit more uh, plentiful when it comes to rainfall for us here in southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa. Future track radar showing very clear, quiet conditions overhead locally for us in the area. Notice off to our west, though, we're watching cloud cover building in. That will gradually make its way overhead as we move into tomorrow. So a few more clouds expected for your Friday. But we continue to see high pressure dominating the upper Midwest, and that's going to keep us fairly quiet. We are keeping an eye out, though, on a low pressure system situated just off to our west towards Montana and Wyoming. That will bring that opportunity for a couple stray showers come late Friday night, early Saturday. So let's time things out. Heading into tonight, things will continue to stay pretty quiet. Clear skies will continue. Temperatures will be a little bit cooler into the upper teens. Lower 20 is looking to be more likely. So we'll start off here, your Friday morning, 6 a.m., a quiet start to the day. As we move throughout the afternoon, we'll see winds shifting out of the southeast. That will push ahead into, uh, well, that will bump up our temperatures there to the 50s area-wide by Friday afternoon. Makes the sun a cloud, though, as we move it throughout the day. Heading into the evening, then after midnight, we'll start to see some showers popping up and developing as that low pressure system passes through, and that will fire off a couple rain showers. This looks to be pretty straight in manner for us here in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. Not expecting much for accumulations. As we move throughout the day on Saturday, very quiet. A couple of rays of sunshine are expected. Temperatures will be seasonal there into the 40s. Looking ahead, though, when it comes to those rain chances, as I mentioned, stray opportunity overnight Friday. Better opportunity comes later in the day Sunday into Monday. Maybe looking at some minor mixing as you roll towards early Tuesday as that system pushes out. So Sunday will be the better opportunity to see rainfall accumulations as we look with that rainfall forecast. Really not expecting much in totals when it comes to that Friday system. As we look further out, could potentially be looking at a few tenths, about two tenths to maybe six tenths as we look closer out past that late weekend system by about Tuesday morning. Heading into tonight, as I mentioned, a little bit cooler here for the area, looking at some low 20s for us with mostly clear skies. A few clouds building back in as we head towards Friday. High temperatures there, beautiful into those 50s for your Friday. Here's that 10 day forecast. We look to bring in that next rain chance, the better opportunity for rainfall here in the area later in the day, Sunday into Monday. So maybe if you have some Easter plans Sunday morning, the better opportunity to get outside. But when we look at that 10 day forecast, notice how our temperatures will stay consistently into the 40s and 50s. So I think we're finally over this little hump here of some 30s looking to continue on with more seasonal temperatures here as we transition into early April starting next week. Well, I, don't know, yeah. I feel like an egg hunt in the rain sounds kind of fun, <laughs> especially if you're like a little kid. Maybe you get to bring out the <laughs> rain jacket, the little umbrella, but that will be the better opportunity where you need that kind of rain gear. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but after the cold weather earlier this week, I'm uh -huh. very excited for the warmer temperatures. I am too, and I just, I, even though it was a little cooler today, I loved that sunshine. It was so nice just to fill the house with some nice sun. All right, thank you.